Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Ashtad Engineer. I lead the Smart Factory Solutions for AWS globally. Welcome to another episode of This is My Offer with Cognite. We have today Kanud Vidway, Head of Product Management at Cognite. Hey, Kanud, why don't you introduce yourself, talk about a little bit about who Cognite is, what do you guys do, and you know, where do you support our customers? Hi, Ashtad. Thank you very much for, for having me. Uh, so I'm Knut Vidvai. I'm the head of product management at Cognite. So um, a bit of background first uh, from us. Um, a key data is that only 3% of industry executives trust their data to do critical decision making. So Cognite was built to take complex industrial data and make it easily and simply accessible and easy to use. Uh, we want to make it accessible to, to all, to engineers, to operators, and down to the shop floor personnel. Uh, and our goal is very simple. It's to make a more efficient, a more sustainable, and more productive industry. Great. I, industrial data management is top of the mind for all of our manufacturing and industrial customers. So what industries do you work with and what part of the world do you operate in? So we, uh, all, uh, we work in different industries. Uh, we're big in the energy industry uh, and in process manufacturing and then several other industry verticals. Oh. So you are a SaaS company. I mean, um, it, you're Norway's first uh, unicorn. So tell us something more about your core product, which is, uh, I believe, is Cognite Data Fusion. Yeah. So we created a software solution that we call Cognite Data Fusion. And that bring together all of the industrial data that is typically very messy and unstructured. So you have uh, documents, 3D, time series, sensor data, and, and all of that different data. Um, and we connect it and we make it simple to access uh, for all of the people uh, in the organization. And then allow that information to be available for, for applications and solutions uh, seamlessly across the entire enterprise. From, from the business side all the way down to the plant floor. Making data meaningful is a very hard problem for manufacturing. Um, do you have some demos that you can show or something of a sneak peek of your, of your product? Yeah, sure. Um, so if we jump straight into um, uh, the demo, you'll see immediately that you're in a, a user-friendly interface with a big uh, search bar or jump straight into 3D. So here I can search for for types of in, uh, all type of um, uh, equipment or files or processes that we have. And when I go in and I search, it'll search through what we call the entire industrial knowledge graph, where we've pulled all this data together and made it accessible. So imagine I'm a, I'm a process engineer and I've gotten feedback that one of my heat exchangers are not working well. Uh, and typically I have to search across multiple types of data. So already in here, I have all of the data and the metadata and properties. I have sensor readings and time series. I have the files. Um, I have uh, events, alarms, and work orders and, and history of it. And I even have a 3D preview straight into to it. So it's all connected into this knowledge graph. Uh, but as a process engineer, I typically like to start with these uh, process diagrams. Uh, and you see here, it's not only that it's interact and it's uh, part and easy to access. It's also that it's interactive and digital. Um, but for me to work with this, um, for me to work with this, I'd actually would like to open this in um, a tool, a revolutionary first of a kind tool that's called Industry Canvas. So let's call this AWS, and straight it in, it's going to add this smart document in as the start of my journey. Um, so when I come in, I can get familiar with the system. But when I click this, you see that we've already connected here uh, sensor readings and temperatures. So I can just add now and see that it's already 15 degrees. Um, I can continue and I see I can have asset information popped up so I don't have to look through my, my, my ERP system for that. I can open even then with one click. It goes in and it, it loads up a fully interactive 3D model for me that I can put wherever I want. Uh, and then it highlights the, the items I'm looking for. So I can start getting this, this sense of, of uh, 
of uh, where the equipment is, what's around it, and what's connected. And I see this um, together with all the other information. Um, in addition, I would spend a lot of time looking through trying to find related documents. Um, so here, um, finding the right PIN ID typically takes a long time. Here we have connected them, and with one click, it'll pull up the next one so I can start traversing the entire plant for me to very quickly get to the root cause of what's going on. Um, and this can go on and on. And now I can start bringing in people and to make it more collaborative. Got it. So if I jump straight into something that's a bit more uh, where several of my colleagues have been working together with me, um, I can start seeing um, the different work. So I've had one engineer starting to do a, a root cause analysis and the cause map for me. Uh, another uh, flow engineer has started to do, do some calculations in the no-code uh, editor and given me some input on what I need to do to find out what's, what's wrong with this. Um, we've pulled up the recent uh, I'm sorry. We pulled up the recent uh, maintenance history, so we see what's been going on. Maybe that's connected, and then we st can start building more no-code complex dashboards together. Um, Got it. Um, in addition, we've pulled up a historic root cause analysis uh, document. Um, that might be long. It might be take a long time to to read through and find the actual root cause. Um, but by integrating generative AI into this, we built this, this co-pilot agent that can summarize the doc for me in a couple of seconds, so I don't have to read it uh, fully to understand if it's the right document for me. Um, and we've also given the possibility for you to chat with your document. So if I want to just find what was the root cause of uh, this incident that this report is uh, pulling out for me, it'll go in. And it'll tell me that this root cause was the leak of a heat exchanger was fouling, which caused accumulation of unwanted deposits and then imp uh, impeded the flow of the transfer. So I can just add this as well for my colleagues. And then we can start collaborating more about using both the domain knowledge, the tribal knowledge, and the collaborative uh, sense of what you need to do. Um, you see, we've also pulled in some, some images from the field. And all of the data that I'm looking at now is just as available on your phone. The entire plant and all of the different data systems on your phone or on your computer so you can bring that collaborative troubleshooting together i see a lot of data sources which you're playing with so i mean what's the secret sauce of getting all these data sources uh, because you went through a pnid you went through time series you went through uh, an asset maintenance system records i mean like how do you how do you how do you pull all this together? That's a, that's a great question. So inside of this same tool, we have industrial workspaces for, for these kind of industrial tools you saw. But we also, with one click, you're into our data management and basically into the data ops of the category that we, we called industrial data ops. Got it. Um, so we have here all the tools I need to integrate, contextualize, and configure that industrial knowledge graph and build these industrial data models that power all of these solutions that make it look so simple and seamlessly. Um, so um, in here, for example, we have a big library of industrial extractors. Uh, so as you see here, uh, we connect directly to industrial systems, to IT systems, to engineering systems. Um, you'll also find the Amazon's Redshift in here uh, and all of the typical systems and industry systems you would expect. We can bring that data into staging and transformations as you would expect. But the really secret sauce here is all of these contextualization services that automates the connection of all of these different things and put them into pipelines. And that drives great data ops practices. So you're not just building a solution that works while you're working on it, but it can actually be maintained and scaled for years and years and across all of your global plants um, very quickly. So that is huge because I think that really feeds into the element of the ROI, which is you know very typical uh, conversations we have with our our industrial and manufacturing customers. So, what is a typical ROI a customer might see by deploying Cognite Data Fusion? Can you yeah. Um, so a great point of reference here is an independent research report that was done by Forrester, and they show that a typical customer for using an 
being a cognitive diffusion, can achieve a 400% uh, ROI uh, on these things. And, and, uh, and that spreads across multiple uh, threads of, of ROI. So one of them is, of course, to improve your overall production workflows and production optimization. That's a very obvious one for us. Um, but we also have great tools for reducing the shutdown time. Uh, and I think it's even quantified in the report for a typical customer. It's in $4.8 million just on that one. Um, we also see with this collaboration and this simple access to complex industrial data, you get improved productivity. Uh, and then we can you can start building, you can imagine starting building solutions here that really optimize heavy machinery, um, heavy assets, and, and, uh, and monitor and optimize them over time. Got it. I mean, it, and that's exactly, I mean, I, I do see industry as a general, right? You know, how, how should the industry be really thinking about the ROI for industrial data ops? I mean, you mentioned industrial data ops and the, and the data infrastructure, which, you know, CDF brings in. So, you know, any thoughts on how the industry should be thinking about ROI, especially when it relates to, you know, industry 4.0 use cases? Yeah, so we've seen that many companies are making a direct link between deploying like, new digital programs and, and the shareholder value it intends to generate, and, and they can struggle getting started. So mm -hmm. through, through our experience with our customers, we've seen that there are basically three steps you need to have to have a successful program. Uh, so first, the companies, you know, you have to easily navigate the implementation of your digital programs. So you have to adopt some sort of North Star value, some sort of things that's driving you towards meaningful business impact. Um, and then secondly, we do recommend that companies assign someone, someone responsible, someone who's going to be the soul or the champion, as we call them, that's driving these digital initiatives. And they can span between digital and the business side. Um, and then thirdly, uh, they should really team up with a trusted advisor that's able not just to provide the right solutions for them, but also guide them through this process um, of implementing and scaling and then eventually harvesting the value of these solutions. Got it. So what would you say to enterprises who haven't already started off their, their journey? I mean, it's, there are, um, I think uh, a analysis say that, you know, at least 80% of manufacturers are yet to start on their journey on the cloud. So what would be your, your you know, what would you say to enterprises that haven't, uh, you know, started off this journey? No, um, I think that's a very fair question and things we hear too. We, we hear that, how can I really get started on my digital journey or even with 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 this AR journey in industry? Uh, and we've tried to, to tackle that problem head on. So what we've done is that we've developed the, the Cognite Data Fusion Quick Start program. So that's aimed at, so instead of using months and years planning and implementing and rolling this out globally, we can start Quick Start in just a matter of weeks. And this is also with live data on industrial problems, uh, making solutions and putting it in the hands of the users in a very short amount of time. So you can provide value very quickly. You can start to take some huge leaps, and then you can then use that as your, your base for after that to get to a global scale uh, and, and realize value across your whole industry um, or across your whole company. Yeah. But uh, but that kind of acceleration has been is something that really resonates with uh, the kind of companies who's not really know how to get started. Great, and I think agility in terms of getting something demonstrable to the business is a key ingredient of the successes. It, and you know that's uh, you know that's really what we're hearing from our customers too. So, yeah. um. As there are a lot of many cloud providers to work with, what contributed to your decision in working and building and investing with AWS? You know, how has been your experience uh, with developing this partnership so far? Yeah, uh, the the first thing I'm thinking of there is that uh, we're uh, Cognite is a cloud agnostic organization, um, and the, the whoever the cloud vendor preference lies with is strictly up to our customers. Uh, so AWS is firmly rooted in all of the industries we're in, and it's only natural that we're also fully integrated with AWS and, and all of AWS's services. Um, so we were we were founded on one of the cornerstone values we had was openness, 
uh, and speed. So in in our solutions that we build, we we aim for openness, but also how we work with customers and partners, we aim for openness. Uh, so deploying our solutions on AWS, it it took tremendous support from the AWS team, um, and and you guys helped ensure that the customers have a seamless experience. So there's not a different experience across uh, the different cloud vendors. And uh, we got it very quickly up and running in an AWS environment, uh, oh, which we really, really appreciate it. So I also like to take the opportunity to thank you know AWS and all of your support members, uh, not just for for getting us on, but also the constant effort and support uh, and and partnership thinking that you have uh, to create like an effortless customer experience, which is the ultimate goal. Thank you. We really do appreciate uh, uh, and support this uh, partnership. Do you have any real world examples of customers you could share? Yeah, um, great question. So uh, when Cogna was founded, we were uh, started from day one with customer involvement and with uh, building and solving problems on real-world data and real-world problems with them. Um, and some of the, some good examples of customers we worked with, uh, we worked with a, a large wood processing company in Scandinavia, um, and they done something with Cognite Data Fusion that I don't think has been possible five or even 10 years ago. Um, so they onboarded a plant uh, with all of their critical data sources, um, and getting individuals from, from the line and, and from the plant and leveraging all of that within just six weeks. And then just two weeks later, they've rolled it out to another 10 plants. Um, so that's quite impressive with regard to, to scale and, and how easy it is to, to do that. It's not the linear scale. Um, and I, I'll also bring up another great example. Uh, we worked with a global big chemical manufacturing company and it's been really impressive to see how, how quickly they're moving across the globe. Um, so when you ask them what's important to them, they say it's about moving people away from finding data and spending time uh, do that, and then just spending their time finding the right solutions. Um, and one of the big key learnings from that customer was that they've already built out a value roadmap, and they had laid out a plan of four years to roll it out to their 40 to 50 global sites and had the value cases already lined up. But what we could do is accelerate that to a much shorter timeline, which means that the net present value of what they were already capturing a value went up um, a lot uh, with a significant number. Um, so uh, we solve really complicated problems all the way from energy management to, to robotic rounds, but it's the scale of that data foundation uh, that makes it simple to, to do that at a global scale. Especially time to value for our customers is top of mind, especially when it comes to industry 4.0 use cases. And it's an important aspect of uh, the whole industrial data management you know, life cycle uh, within that. Exactly. So before we end, how does one get engaged and started on Cognite Data Fusion? Because I think Agility, speed, time to value are, are an important aspect of what you've outlaid for Cognite Data Fusion. So how does how does this one get ramped up and started? So people who, who and companies who want to get started uh, know that we're already linked up on AWS Marketplace. So you can find us there. Um, there's also going to be links in the description box of this video. Uh, I would encourage anyone who's interested to go to Cognite.com because there we have multiple customer use cases and value use cases uh, for them and how they got started on their journey. Um, there's also a lot of helpful resources uh, to get started for someone who, who wants to get started quickly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Knut, for your time today. I do appreciate uh, uh, you sharing uh, your thoughts with us. I also do thank our viewers who joined in uh, for this episode, as Knut mentioned. You can find Cognite Data Fusion on the marketplace, and there'll be uh, links within uh, this episode where you could go uh, explore and get started with Cognite Data Fusion. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for inviting us and look forward to collaborating uh, going forward.